So what is the product backlog? Basically, product backlog is a product backlog is a collection of issues. Issues in the sense collection of epics and user stories. Collection of epics and user stories. Product backlog contains issues. So issues is nothing but requirements. Another name. Another meaning of issues is nothing but requirements which we got from the client. So product backlog is a collection of issues. Issues is nothing but even requirements. It's nothing but requirements which we got from the client. So product backlog is a collection of requirements. So before team has to going to start the work, First team has to get to know what are the requirements we got from the client. What is the expectation of client? Okay, so everything client we may client may give some uh, draft kind of document with the business analyst. I mean, this is what my expectation from this application. So based on the document, so either business analyst or product owner, uh, so they are creating basically product backlog product backlog we can see in the jira tool so here we have a backlog right so this is what the backlog so this is what the backlog so here all the requirements are ordered based on the priority so this product backlog will be taken care by product to owner no one is owner of this backlog. Only product owner is taking care of that one. Okay. So product owner is the owner of this. Product owner is taking care of product backlog. So PO, I mean pro product owner. So product owner, product owner is ordering all the requirements all the requirements in order in order i mean uh, in so in ordering or arranging requirements are arranging po is ordering all the requirements based on prioritization prioritization based on prioritization so prioritization means client may give n number of requirements for one application. Let's say if you are going with any application, let's say if it is, we'll go with the Baggies application. That Baggies application is, uh, I mean, so our internship, it's a live project. So from the, that application itself, we will see what is epics and what is stories. And already we have created user stories and epics for that application. Okay, so that you people can understand. Let me open that application. <coughs> so this is the Baggies application. It's a ERP module. I think 183 batch know about this Baggies application. No? Hmm. Okay, so so it's a ERP project. So e-commerce application means what its functionality? So by buying and selling the sell. Uh, so from that application, we can we can buy n number of products. So from where those people are buying those all products? Are they manufacturing? No, right? So some way. So, I mean, let's say if we are going with electro electronic gadgets, so where the manufacturing companies are there, from there they are getting those all the products and they are selling via that particular platform. It may be Amazon or Flipkart or any, any platform, right? They are not manufacturing, just they are purchasing from somewhere and they are selling to us, right? But here, whereas coming to the ERP project, 
So these people only manufacturing the products and they are selling to customers. So from manufacturing to selling customers and delivering order to customers. So entire end to end, pro, end, end, to end life cycle, we are considering it as a ERP market. So when comparing to uh, e-commerce application or retailer applications, ERP is a big, uh, more modules we have and it's a big application because it, it, it uh, includes manufacturing as well. So to do that manufacturing of all the products, what kind of material we have to use? Okay, what are the designs we have to use? So when we have to create, so these are all the things we have to include in our software. Okay, so this is what the baggies application, it's a ERP module. So here these people are manufacturing bags. Bags means uh, if we are going to South India shopping mall or any shopping malls, they are giving a carry bags to carry our clothes, dresses, right? So in that box, they are printing their uh, their shop names for doing for getting some brand, right? Like South India Shopping Mall or KLM Fashion Mall, right? So like this, it's so with some images. So they are writing their names for getting more brand in the in, in so I mean it's it's going to a brand, right? So that is how even these people they are manufacturing bags. So I mean whatever the whoever the customers are giving the orders based on their orders they are taking what type of material they want. So how we are, they are selecting the material based on their budget. If we have more budget, then very, I mean, so good material they are adding to manufacture that bag. So like that, based on our budget, so it may be, so average average material or good material kind of thing or low material kind, quality, low material, low quality material, such kind of materials they are using and they are creating, they are manufacturing the bags. And a few bags may be printed bags and a few bags may be without printing and different stitchings, different models like U cut, V cut shape. Like this, we have, so what shape you have, what material you have, what type of stitching you have, what color you have. Okay, what kind of printing you want, what kind of designs you want. So these all, these all we are considering it as a customer requirements. So these all requirements we have to give before the application will be going to develop. According to that, IT people are going to develop the application. Okay, so those all requirements, client may give in draft, draft kind of document. So from the draft, product owner has to write, create all the store, user stories and epics. So epics, so maybe, so epics and stories may create business analyst also, but so arranging those all requirements in the product backlog, that responsibility will be taken care by product owner. Creating epics and stories, I mean writing stories and epics, so responsibility will be taken care by business analyst. If business analyst is not writing, then even product owner also may write that one. Most probably BA will write the requirements, whatever he is getting from the client. So according to the, those all requirements, he is, product owner is ordering those all epics and stories, epics and stories all together, we are considering it as a client requirements. Okay, let's say I want this kind of material. I, I want plastic material or I want so polythene material. I want some bag material, so, uh, so paper material. So like this, with this material and you cut shape bags I want without printing. This is what my budget. So this is what my requirement and I have, I want in, uh, so 10,000 bags. So like this, you people has to create the bags and you have to supply to me. So where, so where I have to, so I mean, once the application is going to the live, so any customers, I mean, any clients, they can go to this application and they can mention here by going to the material section, just they can add those all the uh, requirements, what type of material they want. Okay, so what type of bag stitching model they want, everything they have to upload here by seeing these information, those manufacturing people is going to manufacture the bags. So this is the reason they created this application. So here already I have a difference between epics and stories. We will discuss and that is what our uh, actual agenda of the today's session.
so writing user stories is not our job so user stories writing user stories job is so business analyst job okay our job is understanding the user stories okay understanding the user stories and even ordering those all user stories into the product backlog is also not our responsibility creating user stories creating epics in the zira tool or create so writing the stories writing the description adding the acceptance criteria this is all so this everything is as it is just we people are not at all doing anything okay so whenever you people are joining in any company so already the jira account will be created and in that jira account already if it is started and it's still it is in in progress of that particular project then even all the requirements so far whatever we got from the client every requirements will be added in the product backlog this is the product backlog so here we can so we are not creating in real time but how to create epic means anything so as we discussed in yesterday while we are uh, uh, creating a project there we saw so uh, scrum framework when we selected scrum framework in that scrum framework we have some by default issue types we saw what are the issue types open done issue types open epic story task sub task yes epic user story bug, bug. task sub task right so these are the issue types we saw when we created the project so let's say if you are going to the create a project so select the scrum scrum framework select this one company management here we can't see it because it's a so i log in here with uh, here so these are the issue types epic story bug task and sub task right so these all issue types we can we can find out from the jira tool itself so i mean from this i mean from this project whatever the project we created from this project we can create epic we can create story we can create bug task and sub task so first we'll go with the epic so uh, before going that so what is epic we'll see so epic is a high level condition or requirement or statement okay so epic is a high level condition or requirement or statement so directly team cannot work on epics that is the reason epics are breakdown to smaller piece are uh, so breakdown to small requirements small requirement are requirement or statement these are called user stories these are called user stories epic is a high level requirement which further converted into user stories are story cards both are same only then stories means simple description what user expecting so user stories are requirements in agile projects so what user expecting let's say so i am expecting so client so whenever so any user wants to utilize my application so first they have to give their details how they have to give their details i want to see overall how many users are going to utilize my application 
how can we how, how can we identify how many users to how many clients are you uh, i mean customers are utilizing my application how can i get that information i have a application so i mean so i i released into the market so now n number of people is using that application how many people are using that application how should i know as a owner of that application registrations yeah. right so overall how many registration registrations are done so far so to find out that one we are giving like a one feature that is sign up sign up is to do the registration so they first people has to register into the application or enroll into the application so that i can get an idea overall how many people are using my application epics will so see let's say i am expecting as a client i will tell like so i i mean so in my application i want registration page okay so in that registration page i am expecting so i mean so client business analyst and the product owner have a conversation with the client so once the we are getting the business from the client or so how business will get uh, business analyst will get the business from client so le let's say i am the so i i mean i have a business and i don't have any software application so but i am getting n number of customers but so doing manual work by entering manually in excel sheet everything is taking lot of time for my team that is the reason so i thought if i have any software application so that it will be easy for me to do more uh, so to do more business and it will reach to more people if i have one web application so that i approach to it company so how i how i am approaching to it company directly i am not going to approach any developers or testers so there is a person that person is business analyst so first i have to approach business business analyst so for, and i have to tell this is what my business and these are my target audience i mean these these are the people these kind of people let's say so i mean who are who are who are employees in it, in this particular field or in this so they are their qualification is these things and their levels are their standards are these are their standards this is how i have to explain about my target audience and about my expectation about the application okay so about that business so when i explained these all the requirements then business business analyst will uh, create a document by understanding his requirements so once he is creating that document then so he will create uh, later on so he will understand by by analyzing those all all the requirements which we got from the client and then he is business analyst is creating a epics and user stories based on his understanding he is creating epics and stories okay so after creating epics and user stories so now product owner has to understand so what exactly client is expecting what is its functionality of this application so what kind of programming languages we have to use to develop this application so like this technically he has to understand about the functionality of that application and he has to come up with a plan of action product owner product owner is a technical person but business analyst is not technical person even product owner also may not be that much a technical person but he know in and out of that particular project okay so i mean so he know everything so he is so he is analyzing all the requirements and he is adding the description let me show you that uh, how the uh, user stories and epics will be there yeah see so we'll see here overall how many epics we have and how many stories they retain just we will go through this one so here epics so epic is what the written epic this is the epic what the written epic product management right so we we'll go through this application this is what the application so here in this application we have n number of modules what modules we have product management so this is the dashboard of application and it's a product management is one main module product management product management contains again 
submodules. What submodules we have? Material section, bag section, side party properties, printing properties, quantity properties. Like this, we have nearly 10 submodules we have. Okay, this is one mod. This is one module. Like product management, we have order management and design management, then stereo management, then next inventory management, then next stock management, production management, printing management, stitching management, then quality, packing, shipping, vendor, customers, HR, sales, finance, reports, and settings and logout. These all are the modules in this application. And each module contains sub-modules. And hope you people know about the how, I mean, the culture of IT people. They are working. So sprint-wise, sprint-wise they are working and sprint-wise they are giving the release. Right? So sprint duration is two weeks. Two weeks, mostly two weeks. Very rare case, four weeks. Okay, so two weeks means it's just a 10 days time. So within 10 days time, tell me, can we able to perform all these all sub-modules which includes product management as a main module? Can we able to deliver this entire module? No, right? So here they mentioned product management is a epic. Product management is a epic. So here what we discussed, epic means epic is a high level conditioner requirement or statement. So here, EPIC is a product management. Product management is a main module. But creating entire product management in two weeks, is it possible? No. If you are going to the one sub-module, just you can go for one sub-module. What is the one sub-module? Material section. If I am selecting material section, so what we got here, material section contains add material is a button. Right? Add material, import import i mean bulk materials we can add and export we can download from this one i mean developer has to develop this button this button and this button and here it is what it is breadcrumb right he has to he has to develop this one and he has to develop search text box and he has to develop here show entry drop down and he has to develop this dashboard home page and here each and every material once we are creating the material we can edit the existing material we can delete the existing material so edit is a button and delete is also a button and so these buttons in the, so developing individual buttons will take some time for developing from developers side so it should be clickable and once you are clicking that particular button again it will be navigating to next page and again here this is one field and this is one field this is button this is also button so like this how many we have so many features we have within single sub module that is material section so creating only single material section is even it is not possible within one sprint developers so within 10 days developers has to develop by understanding the requirement and testers has to test it then they have to deploy into the market so here already this application is created and well designed and well tested that is how it is i mean by seeing this application we can see just it's a four or five features kind of thing but no for developing this this only material section will take two sprints it will take two to three sprints also sometimes that based on team capacity requirement complexity team availability okay so it may take two to three sprints also then now tell me how many how many days or how many sprints it will take to complete entire product management it may take more days right so that is what so that is what the complexity of the requirements complexity of the requirements means if one module contains n number of elements ui elements it may be text box or button or, or drop down or a text box anything so if any element developer has to write the code to in, to insert or to develop that elements right one feature may contains n number of elements here one feature is material section is one feature 
how many elements it contains add material button one one element this is one element this is one element overall how many elements three elements and then show entry how many elements four elements then breadcrumb five search text box six seven eight and after that so going to this add material ninth ninth element 10th element then submit is a 11th element so like this if you are going to individual things we will get n number of elements each feature contains n number of elements huh? theme, theme. Huh, theme alignment everything he has to take care of that right and even here in the home page so first even he has to create this one this table also he has to develop i mean once we are creating those all the materials so those all material details will display in that home page of this material section so first he has to develop this home page then he has to move to edit page and delete page and then he has to move to so show entries then he has to go to search then he has to go to breadcrumb then he has to go to export then he has to go to import so like this step by step it will take n, n number of sprints okay so converting so here what is the epic here product management now tell me working by uh, by taking epic is it possible to work even either from developers side or testers side simply i am giving product management and i am asking you people to develop uh, develop that feature by writing the code or by writing the test cases is it possible no so by seeing only high level statement it is not possible to team members to develop that application and they can't understand what exactly client expectations so that is the reason epic and user stories will be written by ba then what are the actions can be done by the testers yeah we'll see so user stories user stories means a simple description and of what uh, what user expecting so let me go with the user story so here the first one is epic is a product management and here so on which function we are working on function in the sense feature it's a login feature login is one feature okay so here what is the user story as a owner i want to log in my console module to do the operations i want to log in to do the operations i mean so if if we want to do anything via from that application first i have to log in without login i can't right and then next again same epic is same if you observe product management product management product management right so for one epic so one epic contains n number of stories one epic contains one epic contains number of stories more more than one story we can say more than one user story so one epic contains more than one user story so here in this in this in this sheet we see product management product management is a epic so here uh, how many overall how many user stories we written for this one single epic 41 user stories we written so from this what we have to understand one epic may contain n number of stories that depends on the complexity of the epic complexity of the epic so here so if you are going with this application so here in under product management we have n number of sub modules let's say instead of go, so if you are going to the design management design management is also one epic so in our one module it contains how many sub modules only two sub modules so here user stories we may get some less number of user stories when comparing to the user stories which we got in the product management right so here by seeing epic it is not possible or it is difficult to develop and test even from developers side and testers side by without understanding complete requirements from the client side so here if you are going to this sheet so in the first one what it what they are saying as a as a owner i want to log in my console to do the operations first i want to log in then what is the next user story So as a owner, I want to open material section to do product management. 
So I want to open the material section. So first I have to log in. So logging. So once you are logging, so where we have, where we people are navigating product management. Product management is a epic or main module. Under that module, I want to do, I want to go with a material section. Material section includes in the product management. Material section includes in the product management. If we want to navigate to the material section, first we have to go with the product management. If product management is not available, then if we can't see the material section. Am I correct? So first I have to log in, then I have to go with the material section. Then as a owner, I want to open add material tab to add product details product. So, so to add product details. So by so add material, functionality of add material is adding the materials into the application. Okay. So, and then next user story is as a owner, I want to import a file. As a owner, I want to open a bag section, bag model, bag details, bag materials. So, like this. So, with one main module that we consider it as an epic, and within that main module, overall, how many sub modules are there for each and every sub module? By including all the elements, we retain the in detail information. If you are going again, if you are going to this user story, here they written acceptance criteria or a description. First, they will write description even within the user story also. Let's say as a owner, I want to log in my console module to do operations. By seeing simply product management, if let's say I given product management, I'm asking you to do, 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 do that one. Can we able to do? No. Then later on, what we are, the, what they provided? Login page. Login page means what login page? So as a owner, I want to log in my console module. Console module, it's console module is a admin portal. Console module is a admin portal. Admin portal is different. Customer's portal, end user portal is different. Remember, admin can do all and can perform all operations, but user can't do all operations. Tell me in Flipkart application, can you people able to add any product? No, we can purchase. Only we can purchase, we have some limitations in that product, in that application. It's a user, so end user application. Even for Flipkart also, we have admin portal, that admin portal only having access of only for that particular application owner. Owner of that application only can create the products in Flipkart. Like that here also, this uh, bag is application. So whatever I opened here, it's a console module. Console module means, console module means admin portal, admin module. Admin can add materials, admin can delete materials, admin can edit materials, admin can add price, everything admin can do. Okay, that is the reason here if you people observe add material, import, export, these all the things we can't see in the customer portal. So only I want to log in into my console and admin portal loki log in avalan kuntunan. I don't want to log in into the customer portal. Okay, now, so by seeing user story, yes, it's clear. Okay, somehow we understood under product management, we have a material section. So I want to log in to do operations or to work on material section. Okay, by seeing, this is what it is saying, right? Second user story, as a owner, I want to open a material section to do product management. And a product add a material section and a sub-module. Even this user story is also not that much clear. So now, what product owner is doing? Epic and stories, what we saw here, this will be written by business analyst. Later on, what product owner is doing? Product owner is going to the uh, product owner is going to the Jira uh, Jira tool, and what he is doing? So he is creating epics and stories, and just what what business analyst provided everything he is uh, importing into here, or by seeing that he, he can understand and he can write so in proper format. 
okay and in description he will add so will i will see i will show you how to create that one then i will show you where is the description and how they are going to add so first one will go with the create epic so here first ensure just first we have to select the create create button whatever issue type it may be epic or story or task or bug or test case anything if we want to create new then you can you can go for create just click on create okay click on create and then just select the pro so ensure is your project or not okay then next one is select the issue type so here if you are selecting so are we are we already saw this issue types in the uh, scrum template or not while we are in, in downloading the template we saw these are the issue types are available in the jira tool right what are the issue types story task bug epic and okay test it is not there but here we add it okay so now i am going with the epic okay so when you selected epic epic related details will be displaying here epic screen will display if we, so here what what we saw epic name summary and attachment description link linked issue priority etc etc if you are selecting story then story related screen will display so what we saw here status summary components and summary summary means story summary story summary and then description then linked issue fixed version these all are related to story related screen if you are selecting bug okay so bug related screen will display if you are selecting test then test related screen will display so that is how whatever the issue type you are selecting related to that issue type uh, screen will be displaying based on that we have to add the details okay so now i am going to create the epic epics and user stories creation is not at all our job remember it will be already creating and it will be stored in the backlog sometimes business analyst uh, may may create all the epics and stories and product owner or business analyst will uh, store save all the epics and stories in jira too and once done with the creating epics and user stories business analyst is not doing anything product owner is making a order making a order means here we got overall how many issue types we have 41 issue types we have 41 issues we have it includes epics and stories Uh, overall 41 uh, again within the time as a, within the team as a developers and testers again we have a doubt out of 41 which requirements which stories first we have to work which user stories next we have to work which user stories last we have to work okay because 41 user stories tell me creating developing and testing in two weeks two weeks period of time obviously not possible so out of these all i maybe five five stories are so i mean in between five to 10 stories even 10 stories also more hardly five five stories so that five stories what are the first five stories who will define product owner will define how product owner will define based on priority based on the priority which the priority is defined by client client will give first i want login then i want product management then i want material section okay then i want add materials so this is how order he has to tell as a owner of that application so according to client priority product owner is going to prioritize the issues or user stories in the backlog so so uh, uh, we'll see how he is going to ordering so i am creating one epic so that epic name is product management right product management is my epic name just you can create it epic summary is also asking it is something 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 dummy data i given and i created so now one epic is created right so one epic is created product management so this is what my epic so one epic is created so what we discussed one epic breakdown to 
epics are breakdown to use the stories yes. because directly working on epics is not possible because we can't understand what exactly we have to do product management contains n number of sub modules out of those all which module we have to work so that is the reason first what we have to do we have to create stories user stories okay how to create user stories again same same pattern go click on create and so ensure so we created yesterday dummy project right so dummy project and then here you can select the issue type as story issue type as story and then next one you can give the story summary or a story summary in the sense story title let's say i am giving so this is what my first user story so paste this one and just you can click on create so view the issue yes you can see here so what is the issue type story store now i created story user story i created right so what is the user story id dp2 dp means dummy project dummy project 2 so did i given this story id did i given no by default it's generated id we are not giving it may be epic or story or test case or defect or task or subtask anything we people are not creating any ids it will be generating automatically okay so the id is generated automatically and here this is what the story title this is the story title and then here he will learn. so i mean so till this part is business analyst work now again still so somehow some more information developers and testers need so now description is going to add by product owner okay i mean so as a owner i want to log in my console module to do operation so how to log in just a log uh, so even sometimes you can add like so as a owner i want to log in into my console module to do operations by opening by selecting product management by selecting material section to add the products to add the materials under product management module product management module and then so here acceptance criteria they may write like acceptance criteria they may like right uh, so login login with google or login with Login with Facebook. Login with forget password. Okay, so login with forget password. So login with login with different browsers. Login with Twitter. Uh, so Twitter like this. So these all are the possible scenarios to do the login. These are all the things client is expecting. So now by seeing this description and so by seeing this description and acceptance criteria, team has to work on it. Team has to work on it by understanding this description. Then just you can click on save. Click on save. Okay. So, and so here, see, this is what the user story ID. This is what the user story title. And this is the description. And this is the acceptance criteria. And when I created user story, what is the status of work user story? to do it means it's just created it's not it started 
okay and then next one there is a assignee field this is the field assignee field so who is going to work on this particular user story who, who, who is the developers are working and who is the testers are working so if in real time it's a uh, here this is so i uh, it's a free account and we have, we can configure but in real time we are not configuring we have one more person that person is jira admin Jira admin will configure if any fields we want to add. Let's say here in the assignee field, we can add only developer's name or a tester's name. One name only we can add. But here we have to assign same user story even for a developer and tester. Am I correct? On this field, developers has to work, testers has to work. So who is the developer is going to work? Who is the tester is going to work? So this will be assigning part will be happening in sprint planning meeting that will be covering in today afternoon in sprint scrum ceremonies about sprint planning, sprint retrospective meetings, okay, daily scrum meetings, sprint review meeting. These all ceremonies will be covering in today's afternoon session. Okay, so there you people can understand about the sprint planning meeting. In that sprint planning meeting, so assigning stories to the team members will be happening. After assigning user stories to developers and testers, then only developers and testers are starting with their work. Let's say I'm, I'm asking you people to read, but without giving the concept, without, inf without informing about the topic, on which topic you people has to prepare. So are you people can able to prepare? No. Just you came to this institute and just you sit here and I say, can you please uh, read some, can you please read and by end of the day, I will ask the questions. What you people has to read, right? So I have to assign the work, what exactly work you people has to do. So here that assignment will be happening in sprint planning meeting. Then testers will write the test cases by understanding the user story, description, acceptance criteria. Developers will develop by writing the code by understanding this user story, title, description, and acceptance criteria. Okay, so here in the sprint planning meeting, in assignee field, they are assigning to the developer, and in the reporter, reporter means who created, who created this story. So who is the owner of this story? Those name will be there in the reporter. Who created? Product owner is creating. In, I mean, in this uh, Jira tool, product owner is creating, product owner is responsible for all the products, all the requirements in the backlog. I mean, writing this user stories part is job is business analyst only, but who created description, everything, owner of this requirements, once it will be reaching to the Jira tool, product owner only. Okay. So like this, and then, so it's a label and priority wise, priority wise, if it is high priority, then they are taking these requirements in first sprint. So if it is medium priority, then they will, they will move to next sprint. Like this, they are segregating the priority high or highest, high, medium, and low, lowest, like this. So based on the priority wise, team is going to select the stories and they are going to work. Okay, so like this, we have to create a user stories. So like this, we can create. And again, if you, you can go to the backlog. And so here, I created a story. This story I created, right? But this story belongs to which epic it is? Which epic it is? Product management, right? DP1. So we have to link this story to epic. Map. We have to map it so that this story is belongs to product management. Let's say under product management, all stories we written and all, all stories we development, testing, everything is completed. Now, then we are moving to order management and then we are moving to design management. Then we are moving to stereo management. Like this, all, all, all uh, modules we are writing epics and stories. But we are not linking, but we written uh, I mean, hundreds of user stories. If you are going back, and so this story is belongs to which epic means? Again, we may get confusion. That is the reason we have to map all user stories. These so to belongs to which epic? So that mapping we have to do properly. 
okay so that it will be easy to understand even for client or business analyst or product owner or scrum master or developers development team okay so now i am linking i am linking this story to i am linking this story to epic so here there is a link issue right select this link issue so here link issue so here we have blocked by we have a options are we blocking this story no right so are we cloning cloning means copy and paste are we doing copy and paste no so are we duplicating this no what we are doing relates to so you have to select relates to then now you can give the epic so what it is dp dp1 product management this is what my epic just you can click on link click on link so now when you open epic so under this epic how many stories we have how many stories we have one story if you are opening story then you can see this story is belongs to which epic product management epic so identification is easy so like this under under this product management you can add n number of stories so again we'll go to the backlog just we can create n number of stories i am creating here issues something uh, story story 1 story 2 story 3 story 4 like this we can create n number of stories in the backlog okay so here just i created and again you can open here individually by giving double click and you can open it and you can edit also once we are creating epic or story we can edit so what are the fields we can edit so here at so uh, id we can't edit because we didn't we, we are not created this id uh, by default it's generated so we can't edit so but here i so title title we only created right it's it is it it's editable you can use anything let's say something login just click on tick mark so that it's edited right so in this screen what are the editable so uh, if you are placing the cursor if background color is changing it means those fields are editable if background color is not changing then those fields are not editable if i am placing the cursor on id is the background color is changed no if i am placing the cursor on title issue title is the background color is changed or not gray color background color changed right means it's a editable and if you are going to the description is this background color changed it means this is also editable just you, you can click give the double click so here it's editable and again you can write something and just you can click on save so it's editable and then next one so here is it is this background color changed or not so this is also editable you can change the workflow in progress done okay and again to do okay and then next actions even this actions also we can change and then next assign a field this background color also changing and then so reporter reporter is background color is changing reporter field no reporter reporter can't be edited what it is showing reporter can't be edited okay and the label label is changing or not it's changing so this is also editable and then next pre, uh, priority priority field also background color is changing this is also editable and even if we have here more fields story points editable original estimations editable time tracking editable epic link editable components editable sprint editable fix versions editable okay and here we can add the comments let's say uh, here only they written story and they did not add a description now as a tester you want to write the test cases without description and acceptance criteria how we can understand so now simply you can write so please add 
description and acceptance criteria so that i'll start my testing so like this you can add uh, and here you can mention cc so cc means so i mean to whom particularly you want to send this message so uh, just you can mention cc and just you can uh, enter at the rate so that let's say sanju San, San, so i mean only i think only sanjana is here so just you can add that particular person name and just you can send a click on enter then it will that a comment will be going to add here even if you want to add it so this one just you can here we have an option edit you can edit even these comments also again you can you can click on save then it will be going to save so we can see or i mean whose people are sending a comments who let's say someone so these store even in real time also title we can edit description we can edit everything we can edit few things let's say some people wantedly or unwantedly they written they deleted some data so here as a product owner or scrum master as a team members also we people can identify who who is doing this one so from where history so who created this one when it when this story is created 3 minutes ago priyanka created this story and then priyanka stay changed the workflow then priyanka changed workflow 3 minutes ago so uh, from done state to to do then done state then again in progress to done then again done okay so and, and later on so she changed the title also and then she changed it to i mean she created she added a comment here so like this entire history we will get here okay ma'am editable access only for po no everyone not only po everyone can do that one and then next if you are going to the backlog so here assume so here we have overall how many issues we have how many stories we have six stories we have in sprint one how many stories let's say three stories only we we can able to work but what are the three pre high priority stories who will define product owner will define based on the client priority so based on client priority what product owner is doing he is making a order let's say as a as a owner this is the first one just simply he is drag and drop in and he is ordering in first okay so whatever the stories are in first it is a rank one story rank one story it's a high priority story we have to pick immediately in the in the current sprint that is what the meaning next one uh, uh next one story uh, login is the second second priority so then i am adding here okay then story four then Regist registration okay then story one okay so like this so product owner is making a order he is arranging in the order based on based on client priority based on client priority so here we created only six stories but in real time we have stories in it we may have stories 100 stories we may have 50 stories we may have 200 stories also out of those all for wow, how many stories we have to work on the current sprint what are the high priority stories so based on client priority product owner before sprint planning only client product owner is making those all stories in order wise by giving the ranking rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 like that so what are the so what are the stories are in high priority only in sprint planning people are discussing about only those stories let's say five stories are high priority according to client so out of five so as a team members now you people has to tell how many stories you people can able to work you have to commit now here you have to commit agile is saying so agile uh, uh, encourage Encourage 
self self working so it means so no one is no That's one right. is monetary right. no one is assigning the work or no one is ordering to do that one self managing so it will be encouraging self managing and we have to take the ownership and we have to work on it so product owner is saying in sprint planning five stories are high priority and product owner will explain about those all five stories by opening each and every story in sprint planning and finally he will ask developers how many stories you people can work we have 10 days time within 10 days how many stories we can you people can work 10 days is not only for developers right developers has to develop then they have to give the build to testers then testers has to test then client has to test then it will be going to live ee story anta avval kada so 10 days time even for developers same 10 days time for even for testers so within 10 days developers and testers has to understand the requirements developers has to develop the code testers has to test the code by writing test cases for this entire picture we have only only time limited time that is 10 days so within 10 days you people select how much how many stories you can you can work let's say you are saying like three stories we can work it means it's freezed no one is adding any new user stories adding new user stories within the sprint it is very rare case that is next scenario we will discuss later on if within the sprint if they are adding new stories then what we have to do that we will discuss later on so maximum ma 90% ma they are not adding yes ma what about the execution ma'am you said only uh, work till user stories and within the sprint we no need to complete the execution to or we do have to do that ah huh? sorry execution ma'am ha huh. you said that the testers has to finish their writing user stories within the sprint right sprint time hmm. Mm. then what about the execution when that should happen test execution i mean within the within the sprint only yeah that's what i mean you didn't mention it that's why i doubted okay within the within the sprint only within the sprint only let's say developers and testers committed with three stories so three stories first developers has to write the code in this 10 days of time they have to understand and they have to write parallelly what is the testers job testers has to understand the requirements and testers has to write the test cases and get it reviewed from your team members and we have to wait for the build once we are getting the build what we have to do we have to execute all the test cases whatever the test cases we written for only the three user stories you have to execute by doing functional testing non functional testing in, in, including i mean In, within the functional testing smoke sanity retesting regression testing all the all types all methods of testings we have to perform and finally we have to give the test results whether it is pass or fail within 10 days i mean 10th day we have to give the sign off yes i tested this is the proof these are the documents or these are the reports i generated and i executed okay this is how we have to give so if at any cost either developers or testers are failing to submit or complete their work within 10 days then they are the answerable why those people has to unable to complete the task because you people only selected no one is given task no one is assigned just i ask these are the priority task priority stories you select how many stories you can able to work based on your capacity based on your availability you be, so you only selected means you have to take the ownership no one is monitoring no one is ordering to you to do that work end of the day you have to answer in front of all the team members let's say i given so by end of the day you people has to uh, read five questions and everyone has to come here and you have to read you have to explain about that so end of the day i came and middle also i came and i asked do you have any queries then you are saying like no queries we are we are on the track then evening i'll come and i'll ask so i'll ask one by one so now they are saying like we are unable to explain about those questions it means you people are failing to reach the commit goal whatever you committed so here what we have to do if you are facing any issues if i mean whenever you given the commitment at that time you thought you can able to do but unfortunately 
so two days or three days you are not available so now your work is impacting you are unable to complete the task then immediately you have to inform the scrum master this is what the problem and i'm unable to complete can you please change the scope or can you please add one more resource for me just for for time being okay so or i need some help from our team members within the internal team like this we have to go with the alternative solution to complete the task okay so this is how so stories epics and stories will be created by business analyst and those all epics and stories will be ordering or managing in the backlog that the responsibility will be taking care by product owner and once user stories and epics are creating in the jira tool so they are conducting a sprint planning meeting in the planning meeting they are assigning all the stories to team members i mean team members are picking the stories and they are work, working on that particular sprints time for minimum or maximum time for which one you are asking uh, exactly ha huh, one so that depends on complexity let's say here creating a add material add material is a one feature in under material section right so add material contains only three elements only three elements so writing code for three elements is not it may it may not take much time then so they can add one more user story which belongs to either import csv file or export csv file is based on complexity of the requirement the developer has to understand the complexity according to that complexity has to commit how many stories he can able to complete let's say i am asking you so today by end of the day you have to write 50 questions so 50 50 questions i am giving under api web services testing how many questions you people can able to write how you can how you can tell that depends on what type of questions i am i am giving to you you know already what is web services and what is api and what, the content of api also you know whenever whenever i am writing a questions so how much answer you people can able to write that already technically you are strong right so based on your prior knowledge you can you can give the estimations how much time you need to write the answers for these 50 questions or end of the day how many questions you can able to complete by writing the answers can you able to give the estimations or not you can why because already you know about the api otherwise if i am giving questions on selenium you people don't know about selenium i given five questions and i am asking how much time you want to complete the, the complete these five questions can you able to give the estimation no because we don't know about selenium that is what here product owner has to explain clearly about the requirements and its functionality how it is going to work how what kind of benefit client is going to get what who are the target audience are going to use how it will be going to use this he has to clear and explain very clearly to the team members based on your understanding you have to tell the estimations so here we can't say some standard or fixed time that depends on domain project and requirements complexity of the requirements project to project variation will be there ha huh. developer see developer do three tester if you uh, tester may not be one tester right two testers or three testers will be there they will be sharing hmm. let's say you can you have to do manual and another tester will do re, uh, automation for the same stories or one tester will do front end another tester will do back end that is how they will assign if only one tester is there then there is no option for us but we can't come in here we have to do the job ha huh, then you have to take so it will take some time then they will discuss internally in the sprint planning meeting itself they will do discussion that is that is only the reason they are conducting this meeting so what is the capacity of tester what is the capacity of developer let's say developer capacity is more but tester capacity is less then what they will do so they will hire one more tester 
or if if there is a scope to complete even testing also but tester is not that much cap capable to do that one then they will fire the tester and they will they will take one more tester there is a so i mean how developer is doing means developer is capable but tester is not capable because of tester so our delivery our deliver we are i mean our deliver will, will be going to impact then there is no meaning, right? Simply they are firing and they are taking one more test. Okay. So this is how we can create user epics, user stories. We can create epics and user stories. And here, after creating a epics and stories, so what next, what will be happening? Sprint. Sprint startup. So we have to create the sprint. Who is going to create the sprint? Scrum master is going to create the sprint. So here it's a backlog. Backlog means backlog requirements. These requirements which we got from the client based on priority he ordered and he arranged in prior, uh, priority wise product owner ordered. So now we have to go with the sprint. So uh, once we are done with the backlog, then scrum master is going to create a sprint. Here we have a create sprint. Just click on create sprint. Then DP sprint one, dummy project sprint one is created. So now, so already product owner is ordered by giving the ranking, who is the priority stories and who is the low priority stories, all he ordered already. So in sprint planning, what Scrum Master is doing simply is dragging and dropping here. Okay, so this is the first one and this is the second one. And then this is the third one. So team committed only with three stories. In sprint planning, three commit, st team committed three stories. Only three stories, Scrum Master is drag, so drag and drop to this particular sprint. And then immediately he is going to start the sprint. After sprint planning, he is going to start the sprint. What is the sprint name? DP Sprint 1. And what is the duration of sprint? Two weeks. If it is two weeks, you can select two weeks. If it is four weeks, you can select four weeks. So two weeks of sprint. So here start date is today is it's started and end date. Obviously, it will be it will take the sixth one. It's a two weeks. Okay. Then next. So click on say yes. Sprint started successfully. Your sprint has been started. So now you are in active sprint. Active sprint means current sprint. Current A sprint la work chest. Now, whatever the stories are there. So, this is what the active sprint board. This is what the active sprint board. Okay. So, here, what are, so in this board, what, what are the uh, fields we have to do in progress and done? Overall, team committed to three stories. Whenever team started with the work, let's say I'm opening this story. Uh, this is story. So here all are in this to do state. Either you can drag from here to here, or or you can change here the workflow to do. So now it is in in progress, right? Just you can click on done. Means you are done with done. See, automatically it moved to done state. So your your scrum master and your product owner is not coming to your machine, your your desk and he is not checking anything in your computer, simply he is sitting in, your, in his place and he is going to the active sprint and he is, cross, he is monitoring where is the team members. How many stories they committed? How many stories they started? How many stories they didn't start it? How many stories they completed? If the, if the stories are in, in progress, so how far they completed? Everything they can able to See from here itself by seeing the comments, any comments they added, anything, what, how far they completed, any, any impediments, any bloggers they have, everything they can see from here itself. Next is sprint. So backlog. So here I created one sprint, already our creators. Sir. So one more sprint it's created, right? So you can, uh, let's say you're, you, so uh, I'm going to the, the active sprint. So as you, so two weeks sprint completed. Assume two weeks sprint completed. I mean two weeks complete type in. So, but team is team is completed two stories. 
but so this story they started but they are unable to complete then so now as a scrum master scrum master has to complete this sprint so now what it is asking two issues are done and one new one issue is incomplete so select where all the incomplete issues should be moved you have to select is this incomplete issue where you are moving either you are moving to sprint to or either you are moving to backlog so if you are moving to sprint to you can select the sprint to or you can if you are moving to backlog then you can select backlog let's say if i am moving to sprint or backlog then it will be going to backlog and i can able to complete this sprint after two sprint after two weeks of time our scrum master is going to close the sprint in front of the team members only there is a meeting sprint review meeting retrospective meeting after that meetings so is going to complete the sprint by taking their inputs and so uh, after that he is closing the sprint then only they can start the next sprint so without without closing the current sprint we can't start next sprint okay parallelly we can't run two sprints more than one sprint single time we can we can work with only in one project we can work with only a single pro single sprint okay so this is how let's say if even if you are going with the issues issues okay so issues basically here we have to uh, discuss about the filters but uh, explaining about the filters will take lot of time jira tool i mean within one day completing jira tool is not at all possible anyhow we will discuss every day in testing classes 